Good morning everyone! We usually do construction around here, but uh, today's episode is going to be special and a little different. Instead of construction, I'm going to be showing you what living in a farm is like. One of the most important things in a farm are the animals. Come on boy, let's go! Usually my first task in the morning is to take the boys out. I have to make sure that they have enough grass to eat and enough water to drink during the day. So far we have goats and chickens which are our animals of production. This is George, this is Silly Bumps and this is Little Caesar. They don't produce food but they help us keep this entire place clean from the grass. We also got three female goats, two of them are producing milk and one of them is a little baby. This is Alberta, this is Camila and this is our baby Arepa. We also have five puppies which produce a lot of love. Say hi to Teddy, Sophie, good girl, Lucy, Moki and Peppa. And my second morning task is to feed the chickens. Hi chickies! Hi chicky chicks! I got you some food! Right here, come on! And we also have seven chickens who produce fresh eggs every single morning. Check this out! We get some eggies in the morning which we can use for breakfast. Sometimes we use them to make uh, bread or like something like that. Just to bake a cake or some stuff. We use these things and they are just they are delicious. They're so different than the ones that you buy in the market. These ones are just like so perfect. Usually around this time is when I start working on the house, building stuff around here. But right now in my country there is a gas crisis that means that there is no gas anywhere and I built stuff with my generator and it's completely empty on gas. So I still have some little projects that I can do around, for example, painting the structure of my house, which is one of the things that I need to do before I start working on placing the roof. So I'm gonna get started on that now. The extra hands are already here. These guys are gonna be giving me a hand to finish the painting all the scene all the way up there. So far I have done one, two, three, just three of those lines. We're missing eight more, so these guys are gonna be giving me a hand. Wow, this is looking so cool. I can't wait to have this ready. I mean, we put a little bit of paint and it's looking amazing. Look at that, it's changing completely. I'm really excited to have this house ready with all the glass in the front and in the back. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. There's gonna be a balcony right around here. I'm gonna be drinking my coffee there every morning. This is, this is the best. It just started raining, meaning that I cannot work outside, so I'm just gonna start preparing my lunch. It's, it's a vegetable day.
lunch is ready. We got over here our bowl. This has got a bunch of veggies in the bottom. It's got carrots. These are baked carrots. Yummy. And fresh eggs from the farm in the top. I just wish my avocados were ready, but they are missing like maybe one or two days to be ready. And of course, some coffee. This is gonna be really yummy. During the rainy season is when we have to work a little harder on taking care of our animals because our goats, they dislike the rain and every time that it starts raining, my responsibility, my task is to put them inside of their houses. This thing is stuck. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't want to get wet. Come on, George. Let's go, boy. Just wait. He's so ready to go inside of his house. Go home. Good boy! Catch you some food. Right there. Good boy! There you go. When I put them inside of their houses, I have to make sure that I put some grass too because they need to eat a lot. They spend the entire day eating when it's not raining. And when it's raining, I have to make sure that they can continue eating as much as they need to eat during the day. It's all right, baby. I'm here. I brought an umbrella for you so you don't get wet. They are so ready to go inside too. Good girls. Holding two goats, one umbrella, and a camera. It's not one of the easiest things. All right, you're free to go. Good girl. This week, I'm being forced to don't use any of my power tools. Nothing that is related with electricity. I cannot use any of that because everything that I use is powered by my generator, which is powered by gas, which is really hard to get in the town where I live right now. Things are going crazy. There is no gas anywhere. I cannot find it to use it to put in my generator and continue building my A-frame house over there. So. I just had to get creative this week and just work on things that I can do without having to use my power tools. But anyway, I'm trying to send the positive side and the bright side as always and I'm working on getting the sides of my shed covered with gravel which is gonna help a lot with the drainage of the water and also it's gonna help with the grass that is growing around like crazy to don't grow in that specific spot.
this morning we are going to go get something really special. <laughs> And when I say something really special, I meant flowers and plants. Check all of these that I got, all these little plants. I even got rosemary. This is this is okay this is mint uh, this is Oregon I'm not sure which which is one which which is which what is what in there but yeah I got a bunch of plants that I want to plant near my new temporary house my shed I got some plants yes I'm just preparing the soil, making it nice and soft for my flowers and herbs. I don't, I'm not sure if it's herbs or herbs, because in Spanish we, do not, we don't pronounce the H, but in English you do, which is confusing. So I think it's herbs, I'm not sure. But I got lemongrass, I got um, peppermint, I got rosemary, I got mint. I got a bunch of good things over here, which I'm really excited to start planting in here. It's getting a little windy ah, and rainy. I just finished one of the sides. This line over here is completely ready from one side all the way to the other side. I wanted to split the color so I went yellow, purple, green, red, purple, uh, green, <laughs> purple, green, purple. I think I like purple.
Take it in. There you go. 6.11. It's almost dark. And I just finished doing this line over here. It's not finished. I still have to put some gravel in here and some plastic. The plastic over there is to avoid the grass from growing in between the plants just widely and just grab everything and just 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 get in my plants. Um, I already have enough grass growing all around this place which the goats are not even able to control and keep short. Look at this. It's just it grows so fast that they are not able to keep up with the eating while it is growing up. And I know that a lot of you guys are gonna tell me that it's not good to put plastic over there in the soil. Uh, it could be just poison in the soil or some stuff like that. But um, to be honest, we are recycling this plastic. This farm was before a greenhouse farm. If you see over there, that is our neighbor's farm. And it's all covered in plastic. Our farm was also covered in plastic all around the place once we got here. But we have been cleaning slowly, little by little, picking up all the plastic that we can and just trying to keep it clean. But um, sometimes we recycle it in town, but other times I use it or we use it for projects in the farm, like this time just using it to help to control the grass in some specific spots. <laughs> It's milking time and they already know. I think with the time they train themselves to know where the milking happens and where is the corn. They are crazy for corn and that's one of the things that we use to keep them just steady once we're milking. It's a mix of corn and like other grains that balance the vitamins and nutrients that they need. <laughs> We have been producing milk only for the last maybe two and a half to three months but I only have to milk them once a day. Usually Jordan or Iberto, Enrique or Kaylee do the milking in the morning and then I take the one at noon which is usually around 5 but sometimes I have to do it around 6, 6.30 so I get more milk. Like today, check this, this is a full bowl of milk and with the milk which today was a lot more than usual we just started making cheese. Before we were just like drinking it, uh, sometimes we gave it to our friends, but now we started making goat cheese. And let me tell you, that thing is delicious. There is so much more that happens here on the farm, but with all the craziness that is going on in my country right now, I forgot to include it. To be honest, I'm a little bit stressed um, because I just got a car about a week ago, my first car ever, and now I have to wait eight hours in line to try to get $20 worth of gas which I don't think it's worth the effort but anyway I hope things get better I really hope this we get out of the situation really soon um, but we're gonna leave it here love you guys so much you guys are the best thanks a lot for your support and I will see you next time